Hey you right guys, Street Punch is Joey and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5. It's episode 5, so I mean that's I'm not sad that we're halfway through the show already. But I am devastated, so I mean Yo, I'm sticking to my word. Yeah, I, I said to you guys if you left a like and comment on my friend Morgan's video that I would upload episode 5 today. And you guys did that, and there's about like 15 comments on here just saying that Zendaya deserves an Emmy. So I'm buzzed, I'll stick to my word, I'll do episode 5 today. I've got another challenge though. This one benefits me more so than a friend because, you know, I've got to be selfish sometimes. But yeah, I have a second channel which I'm going to leave linked down below. And it's a podcast that I've started doing with two friends where we talk about film. And I'm going to, we're going to insert like TV talk into there at some point as well. But we're just starting with film for the first few. And we're just under 200 subscribers on there at the moment. We only started it about three weeks ago. Uh, so I'll say if we hit like 225 subs by the end of the day or by like a full 24 hours when this is up. I'll try and get episode uh, six up as quickly as I can in the next uh, day or two. So yeah, you guys get something I do as well. I loved episode four. I thought it was like an art piece in his own little, you know, bubble of 30, well, the 30 minute carnival scene. Uh, the whole episode was art, but the 30 minute carnival scene was impressive, dude. That was some impressive stuff. Uh, like the production value on that was mind blowing. It was mind blowing, and I really enjoyed the episode as well. Like learning a bit more about Jules, and we have Nate crawling around like a locust still. So I mean, he's gonna do what he's gonna do. Episode five, guys. If you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want uncut reactions to this episode of Euphoria and the other four that are coming out, and the other three that will be coming out, then a link to the Patreon page will of course be down below. And thank you to all you you guys and gals, as I say, in all the Euphoria reactions, I feel, but the support has been insane on the Euphoria reactions. I've enjoyed doing them. And like I say, I'd always rather... I know they're not doing, like, you know, in, insane with views, but it's more so, for me, the comments that are kind of going on in the reactions. I just... You, you guys are just the best. Literally the best. I think... I don't think I've come across one dickhead of a Euphoria fan. <laughs> I feel like all of all of them are just great, so that's why that's why I love the most about it. So. Oh yeah, who are we gonna focus on this episode? Maddie knew who she was. Maddie, my actual fave. Hoping we get like Cassie in one of these episodes. Who better? Ten, 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 ten. That's me rating every episode of the show. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Maddie would never say it out loud, especially not today because everybody's so political. <laughs> but she never really had any desire to have a career or job. Uh, why? And her dad was a drunk who was always pretending to hold jobs. Of course. Which dad is not a drunk in every TV series ever, and I guess the real world. Every dad ever is a drunk. And what she realized was that none of them actually did anything. I mean, they may have like children to raise or homes Oh yeah, that, that pesky day, chore. Children. She had had a thing for Nate for a while before he finally asked her out. At first he was a gentleman, like flowers every day kind of gentleman. Damn. She was smarter than most guys. Granted, she didn't always tell the truth. You're a virgin. Because the truth truth. Oh, is that a lot? 14 on vacation in Panama City Beach. It was like 40. In retrospect, seems kind of rapey and weird, but honestly, yep. she was the one in control. Guys, how much it meant to him. Like 40? <laughs> how much it meant she to him. 100% his. What about like? Jaron Stone in Casino was like Maddie's spirit animal. Fair play. She also watched a lot of porn. <laughs> Not because it turned her on or anything. <laughs> it didn't. Sometimes during sex, she would imagine she was a ventriloquist controlling her body. What? Like her hips and arching her back. And Fair play. She sees it as an art form. I can appreciate that. Jesus. I fucking love you. I fucking love you too. <laughs> what the fuck? I just love it. Like enough to throw up. Maddie deserves the, the world. It scared her. It was the fact that she knew no matter what he did. She'd still love him. That's quite sure, that was only seven minutes. I'm glad we got that backstory though. We just need Cassie now. There is not a thing on the planet Earth that compares to fentanyl. Except Jules. Except Jules. Jules is a close second. Dinner's ready. Uh, okay. Are you coming? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. 
Give me a second. Damn. <laughs> Are you two in a relationship? Mm, yeah, kind of. Are they? I don't think you are, Rue. I don't know. I feel like Jules is just not going to treat Rue. I don't know. Like the same how Rue wants to be treated. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see. What? No, 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 that's not a thing. Is that a joke? Granted, after the carnival, things got really fucking Two? Oh, I was getting into that. It's not as good as a style, you know, soundtrack, but... What's happened here? Has Nate murdered someone? Cal, oh, that gets to the closer than Second. back out as soon as he turns the corner. No, yeah, I'd throw up too as Nate was my son. <laughs> Maddie woke up three hours early, applied more concealer than a burn victim, and tried her best to cover up. Fucking Nate. Maddie. Whoa. She's in here. Why is everyone like so dramatic? Obviously, I've been through a lot this <laughs> weekend. There is no bruising on my neck. Mm, paramedics saw it. Yeah, well, they're lying. Madeline. Just say it was Nate and then ruin him. Well, I want you to know that it is not your Well, I know it's not as easy as that look. Really respectful way to say this. Would you please come with me? What? Come with me. You want to tell me what the problem yeah, is? Yeah, right. Come on. We will. She found all that gay porn on his phone. Who told you that? You did? When? At the carnival. Okay, Lexi, never repeat that because literally none of it's true. I mean, well, it is true, so, I mean. All right, babe, Jesus, chill out. Kind of thought you liked me. I do, I just, I have a boyfriend. You, uh, but, but you're not together it's and he's okay. useless. I mean, he's not great either. I, mean, I, I don't know. to say anything. Did I like do something? Well, no, actually, Ethan did nothing, <laughs> technically. By the way, if you want to come, I put a body harness on my Amazon wish list. I'm going to need you to buy it for me. This kid queen. <laughs> Fuck. I mean... So in awe of you, kid queen. There's nothing more powerful than a fact... Billie Eilish. You should see me in the crowd. I knew there'd be some Billie Eilish in there at some point. It was a matter of time. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Get off work at seven. Oh, yeah, all right, mate. Hang out. Oh, that was easy. But... Not gonna let the son of a bitch attack my daughter I and get away with it, right? Absolutely. He needs to know that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, oh, great. I would like to press charges. Well, you're not fucking pressing charges. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna press charges. No, you're not pressing charges. You're not no, you're not pressing charges. No, you're not pressing Okay. <laughs> I would like to press charges. Come out again. The music, fly in, let's go. Ha, <laughs> that's sick. <gasps> Did you do it? Did you do it? Do you need to ask? No. Okay, well. You walk out first. I'm right behind you. Come on. Uh, I hope they throw him away and lock away the key. Lock that way, that, no, that made no sense. Throw him away and lock away the key. Actually, that could make sense. Could you put the key in a safe and then lock, lock the key away and then throw the safe in the ocean? <laughs> um, yeah. Slow motion really works sometimes to fight. I just want a word for his normal speed. Do you have a lot of one-night stands? More than 20. More than 55,000 million. Who cares? Is that even a number? Is the sex, like, good? I don't know, it's like, it's not even the point, you know? Oh, this is so embarrassing. My super brief and horrifying sexual history, what the fuck? I had fuck? my first kiss at the age of 12, and I just wanted to get it over with. <laughs> I'm literally gonna tell the entire school that you sucked my dick, so you might as well just suck my dick. Right, great, well, I mean, die. <laughs> and lost my virginity. <laughs> Did he just die? Did you come? Stop. Can this show stop asking everyone if they came? No, that's the answer. Why is this not about? Have you ever been in love? Oh, she's gonna say yes because of Jules. If you literally step any closer, I will fight you. Maybe this is a procedure. I need. Muddy. <laughs> we will remove it for you. 
Really, bitch? How? Is this allowed? Is this actually allowed? Will this actually happen? I don't know, to be honest. Like, you guys would know more than I would. <laughs> Seems kind of fucked up, but... No, the fucked up part is that Nate strangled him, but I mean... I'm curious if the cops would actually, like... Force the slaughter off. Like, I don't, I don't do drugs, so I don't know. Oh, you pure soul. Oh, thank God for Nate. What an angel, he doesn't do drugs. Know, the inability to admit that what you're enduring is not normal. Not okay. And not love. Those are the moments that keep me up at night. Thinking about- Can we all stop looking at her, Jesus? That, that voice in my head. When she moves away and goes to college, when she tells you, she just wants to be friends. Yeah, I feel like that no, might happen. I mean, hey everyone, I'm I'm Rue. I'm an addict. I'm also uh, gonna get an Emmy. Just wanted you all to know that. I guess I just wanted to uh, make amends with everyone. Yeah, every time I collected a chip, whether it be 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, I was lying. <laughs> oh, is he like proud of it? I think we're all proud. I met someone and now I want to stay clean. Cause uh I've been clean for 13 days. 13 days? Let's go. Uh, thank you. God, I love it. She's just sick of so Is this like a friend thing with Rue, or is it like... Nice transition. I... Also seamless. I was just wondering. Should I buy that? I might buy that. I don't trust all day. I feel like Jules is just gonna break Rue's heart. I don't know. I could be wrong, and I will admit if I'm wrong, we'll see. But I just, I don't know. I feel like Rue likes her way more than Jules likes her. Oh, they're gonna rekindle their friendship. I forgot her name. I don't, I don't know her friend's name. But she's been in it for like. Two scenes. What dick pic? The ones you told me about on his phone. I don't know if your brain is all scrambled from like all the Molly you take, but I never said that. All right. If you spread a lie like that, I will fucking come for you. We good? Oh god. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> no. I'm proud to be your boyfriend. Trust me. No, you should be honored, not proud. I don't see. I'm sorry. Too. Oh, this has happened. Maddie wasn't doing well. Oh, Maddie. Over the course of the last five days, Maddie had sent Nate a total of 273 text messages. Seriously, Mom, Dad has slept on the couch since I was 10 years old. <laughs> and his thumb cord, Useless. Maddie. I'm not. It doesn't really matter. I'm just like, in the middle of something. Well, can you blow them up, please? I really need you right now. I can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. All good. Uh, what are these sound effects? Seriously, that was like one of the best blowjobs I've ever had. Okay, great. Well, you still lasted about 10 seconds, mate, so I mean, that was one of the best blowjobs I've ever had. <laughs> the music's so good. Oh, I'm glad she's like a horrible friend joining along. Because of you, you know. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. Oh, that's sick. It blows everything else out. My God. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's so sweet. Okay. Uh, well, is it cool if I just go with you? Oh no, I don't like this. Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad for Rooks, it's just not gonna work out. I can already tell, like, Jules is just not really that into it. I don't know, I could be wrong, but. Meet me at the hotel off exit 27. Oh, he's driving in. Oh, is Nick, are they at the same hotel? <laughs> Mm. 
What's that, what's that look about? Is that Jules kind of realising that does not care much for Rue, I guess? I don't know. Okay, there we go, guys. That is episode 5 of Euphoria, season 1. Very good episode. Again, I'd probably say it was the weakest of the five that we've had so far. Uh, I did, it was still great. Like, it was still really, really good. Um, I just, if I had to pick a weakest one so far, it would be this one. Uh, we kind of had Maddie's story, which I liked all of Maddie's stuff. She's she's a great character, very complex in the sense of, you know, having Nate being abusive to her, but still, you know, thinking that that's love <laughs> and stuff like that, which is obviously, which is a thing, but... I don't know, I just feel bad for her, I just want to be the gay. We'll see what happens. Um, and everyone just like turning their back on her as well. Not, I don't know if it's like as, as straightforward as turning their back on her, but it did feel like throughout the episode she didn't really have anyone to turn to. Uh, like she had a mom who was just kind of going off and then Kat wouldn't um, meet up with her when she when she wanted to, when she wanted to meet up. So it, it did feel like the only person she could go to was Nate as well, even at the end. It was just like, oh God. Um, I don't like Nate, but it's it's very well written in the sense of how um, Maddie and Nate actually are. So we'll see what happens. I don't think Nate. I don't think anything bad's going to happen to Nate. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think it'll be as simple as him going to prison. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, all Maddie's stuff is really good. I really like her character. Uh, Rue. It's just kind of more building on the relationship with her and Jules, and also like. Uh, how many days was it? 13 days clean that she was as well so that as well which is great she wants to be clean for Jules but that kind of puts it into a very tricky situation in the sense of she's clean for Jules at the moment but as soon as and we know like Jules is not back into Rue at least that's how I see it so as soon as that like comes, comes out then Rue might kind of turn back to drugs I don't know how it will happen but yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one, because I just don't think Jules is that into Rue. Like, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I am, but that look at the end kind of uh, showed showed that to me. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see, but I, I still really love Rue, and I just, we just want what's best for her, so... Yeah, it was, and then we actually got quite a bit of Nate's dad as well in this episode. Again, another very complex character, which uh, I don't like his character, but he's very complex and very well acted, so... Uh, that That's key, really, <laughs> and yeah. I enjoyed it. I'd probably give this episode, like I say, it was the weakest so far. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 still, though. I'd say it was just like a solid 8 out of 10. Um, it, again, I was kind of hoping they'd just be like consecutive 9s for all, for all 8 episodes, but no. I guess there's always going to be that one episode that's kind of weaker than the others, and so far this is that. Um, but I still really, really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Like I said, if we can get the other channel, uh, which I'll link down below, to 225 subs in the next day or so. Then I'll upload Euphoria episode, uh, the episode 6 reaction as quickly as I can. But thank you for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you want uncut reactions of course. Then that will also be linked down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 6. Until then.